everybody. We got a, we got a pretty fun game going on tonight. It's going to be uh, College of Charleston, which are in the defender side, against Winthrop, which are attackers. Um, I don't know. I think I think this is going to be a pretty pretty close match. What are you What are you thinking here? It's going to be an amazing game. It's going to be fun. It's going to be incredibly entertaining to watch. I mean, we have really really high skilled players on both sides. We have people like Yoshi and Mena, you know, <laughs> on uh, on the uh, what's it called the. Uh, College of Charleston, and we have uh, people like uh, Ali and um, and Flair on uh, on Winthrop. I gotta so, say, uh, we do show some Kiyoshi favoritism. As he he came from us actually last year, he played on our team. So don't yeah. mind the Kiyoshi favoritism; it it comes in every now and then. Yeah, he he's a pretty good he's a uh, pretty good sage. All right, all right. So so we will be playing this first matchup on Bind here. I'm I'm excited to see what we're gonna be seeing as like uh, setup wise. Uh, Looks like we got like uh, we got a pretty even team comp when it comes down to it. You got skate on sky over there. That is that is the one big difference you really see here. We're gonna see a phoenix come out from Winthrop. I don't know. I mean, pretty interesting team comps all around. You, do you have yeah. any thoughts on the team comps? Do you have anything you like? I mean, uh, Ali has the uh, the phoenix uh, player card, so I'm assuming he's a phoenix man. So <laughs> I, I'm kind of excited to see uh, what he does on phoenix, but uh, but no, not much. I mean, I want to see where they play. I want to see what they do, but uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Still all okay. just all right. So we have a uh, Viper and Sky and a pretty good. We have a uh, Sage Warning Hookah with Rays, and then we have Brim playing on B, which is really good, you know, defense. Uh, mm -hmm. no Sentinel, no Heart Sentinel like Cypher or KJ, which is uh, surprising. We do have Sage though. Uh, but it looks like we're leaning towards A, so we'll see how this push goes. Yeah, as you said, it looks like uh, attackers are starting out leaning a little bit towards A here, which is being held down by Skate and our boy Veer. So I'm um, interested to see how this goes. I mean, Alex about to flash through this, and yeah. uh, you might get picked by Skate here. I mean, looks like they're not actually pushing you hard right now. But uh, you just came by off Skate. Uh, Veer's pushing back into CT. Looks like they're playing a hard retake. Right here, as you see, a player starting to push up into lands. It's like. Yeah, yeah and we already have uh, we already have Kyoshi and Mana rotated here, and uh, we have uh, Brim lurking down. Going on B, but he seems to be rotating as well, and now we're playing a 5 5 retake. Oh, and uh, what's that's good thing? Oh, and Mana! Ooh. I mean, what? As well, it's, as he's, it's Mena, you know. It's Mena things. So we see him take Yoshi. a player here. And... Kiyoshi's picking oh, Swisher now, and... Oh, oh! Mena for another. He... Kiyoshi currently in showers. Oh, and Swish does get two there. So it is now a 1v1. It's, one. One. it's Mena, Swish. Swish. Time's oh. ticking, though. Swish is tapping bomb. Mena is low. low. But he could get close here with classic right click, and there's not much time left, and... Oh, he gets oh, it! And I think he just barely gets Spike. What a play for a minute there. I mean, starting off pretty strong, I'd say. If you're college really you get it. Oh. <clears throat> I'm pretty they don't get it, but that was still a, that, you know, you know, man starting off pretty strong. See that point oh, yeah. from him. He really, he really took that space shot, uh, lambs pretty fast. I mean, yeah, it, it was unfortunate. So we should start, uh, was able to get two people, uh, through a smoke and he was able to just spam him. Yeah, yeah that was always, I, I still think that's a, if you're, if you're college of Charleston there, you know, you lose that round, but. I don't in spirit, in spirit, you, in you spirit, in spirit, in spirit, demon time clutch. Um, let's say we're leaning towards B, but uh, we, we College of Charleston stacked pretty heavy B, so I, I think we might have a yeah, bit but of they are, time. we're gonna see College of Charleston stay there, anyways. And, uh, some early does get triple peaked and die. <laughs> oh my god, this player does drop oh, and and kill, she does get peaked by Ali. Oh, and Ali, Ali gets two here, I mean. Save yeah. Spectres, which is classics, you know. Yeah, and Ali's pushing up with his drone, and oh, and he gets picked. The team play here coming in is actually quite impressive, but it looks like yeah. you're going to see Ooh. West on on site. Going to take that duel. Here's in quite a situation here. Ooh. And the Veer getting getting pressured by a lot of you till here. He does it's all down to Mena. One v three. Can he do it with a classic? I don't, I don't know, man. That'd be mm -hmm. quite a miracle. Oh, uh, unfortunately, he does get beat. It's O2, favor of uh, of Winthrop, but uh, you know, his first uh, first buy round for Pot Trustion, and uh, Winthrop should be bonusing here. So I think we're hopefully gonna see some fun stuff from uh, Pot Trustion. Yeah. There was some like if if you're looking from College of Trustion's perspective, there was still some like you, you saw some picks in here. Oh, that was, was a, like, that was a good save. Yeah, that wasn't sure. that wasn't too bad of a save here. So they should be coming on just being able to pull by. Next, we're leading towards A on attack, and uh, I'll see what Skate and uh, what Skate and Vio can do this round. Is it looks like a uh, Winthrop is just buying for next year, so 
Project Charleston does have a gun advantage, but it looks like Winter Base is leaning towards A. Escape does splash out. Ooh, Looking for Escape a pig. Does people, <clears throat> how about people there? Able to find anyone. Holy Flare. Holy. Whoa, it's Flare does push up into lambs, but uh, Skate does manage to pick him off. Oh, and just barely being able to miss that shot. Do oh, yeah. holding on showers and oh my god, look at that viper in showers just almost peeking in there. The entirety of um Flintrop is still in A and it's Skate does get that pick in the alley. And we have most of Haunted Trots in here. Oh, and twice does that. get one pick, but it gets straight out immediately. Yeah, did you see Kyoshi? He's still just chilling on B here. Yeah, he's sort of down. But Skate getting four. Is he gonna? Is he gonna be able to pull off the ace here? <clears throat> West in showers. Um, excuse me, not in showers. In in uh, lamps with a judge here. Will he be able to yeah, find his last? Uh, I mean, it it's hard to win for sure, but uh, I mean, it's not yeah. possible. West is in a sticky situation here. Hey. And Starting a nice off? ace oh, from Skate. Really? Wow, really good. Good buy round on uh, College Charleston, and uh, I mean, it's the first round where everybody can buy, so uh, I think. Oh, wow, no. Uh, three people on, uh, no, two people on uh, on College of uh, Winthrop are buying Spectres, and one of them is not buying full shields. Wow. That was, a, that was a pretty strong round coming in here from College of Charleston. That's what you like to see after dropping those first two rounds. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm actually expecting to see College of Charleston win this round. Exactly, yeah. Um, I mean, like yeah, it's, this is pretty pretty far towards me. Do have that bipolar on A though, so we'll see if she can do anything. Inspire is just trying to take some space in Hookah uh, with Ali. It looks like they're just pushing up here. Yeah, it looks like, uh, you know, kind of stuck, can't really do anything in Hookah, and uh, Long is gonna force the wave for that wall to go down. Yes, yeah, so it looks like Kyoshi. Ooh, no, but Switch coming out here with an old. He just managed to. He did, he did significant damage. Oh. And he does also manage to find Kyoshi. Ooh. Oh. This is a good round. Five, three, two, now. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. You're, you're still gonna be see Crush Eye playing that, that elbow. And he does manage to find Swish there. Yeah, he's still holding it down again. <clears throat> the demon. Yes. Yeah, the 3v4 retake now. Oh, but twice on flank. True. Twice with that lurk, still oh, doing no. work. Wow. Oh, no. He does manage to find Mina and Beer on that flank, bro. That Viper Lurk really did pay off. For Rough situation. Need Crush Act, the Demon of Elbow can't, can't do much in that situation. Alright, I'm curious to see... You know, if you're if you're College of Charleston here. I mean, do you force up? Do you save here? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, I don't think they're inside yet. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> We're on save. Okay. Yeah, they're saving connection. Okay. So, this should be a pretty easy round for um, Winter, but, you know, it could go anyway. It looks like we're pushing up short, actually. Yeah, ooh. We'll see if, uh, if Flair can do anything. Flair throwing in a nade. Oh, no, that's a good nade. A ooh. Skate and. Ooh, Skate and Mina are now on low HP here for College of Charleston. They're gonna get, uh, Minna's gonna be able to get healed up from that sky, but Skate, Skate can't heal himself, so... Uh, I mean, we still have that bomb leading towards B, but could take TP at any moment. This Minna does manage to find Ally in showers. Beautiful, man. 5v4 in favor of College of Charleston, we're gonna see Skate popping that sky ult. Interesting, but... Attackers, Winthrop is, are, are already, already pushing up A here. Completely, I mean, I'm excuse me, B, yep. but they completely rotated off of A. I mean, I don't think they've, they're just about to explode right now, and, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah they, they've right. taken sight. I mean, Call okay. Josh is playing a pretty standard retake, but Kyoshi does get picked there, unfortunately. Mm. It's spotted by the, uh, dart. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a, just a normal retake, you know, Crush Eye going back to Alba where he, you know, where he's comfortable. We're gonna see that Viper being popped, though. It's a little more okay. challenging if you're if you're on the College of Charleston side of things. It's twice just Ooh, chilling in the side. Flare might get. Ooh. Oh, unfortunately. Trade's coming out here, but the viper oh, does go down. Three v two, both playing long. Let's see what we can do here with Sky Uto. 
Looks like maybe we'll be seeing. Oh my god, my skate does push. I'm not able to find one. Let's just get the pick. Oh, uh, fortunately for you, getting the old peak there, I can only get one. I mean, that was a that was a pretty successful save if you're looking from College of Charleston's point of view. You don't oh, win, yeah. but uh, you, you force out a viper roll and that. You, 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 I mean, gun wise, like four people dead by the end of the round. Yeah, it looks like we're uh, we're finally seeing a force out of uh, College of Charleston. See full buys on the both teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well. All right, this one's important for College of Charleston. They have to win this. Yeah, it would be ideal if they were to win this round. I agree with you, especially right off of the save. So it looks like you're gonna see Winthrop leaning a little towards B here again. We're gonna see that Viper lurk in showers so. though. Twice. Yeah, that's the Dusk gets spotted immediately from that slow dart. But he does. Mina, Mina's in an interesting position. If you take a look, putting that cross with his uh, teammate Yoshi. Yeah, we're trying to hold back Ally and um, and Flare. Crushak does manage to pick one out long, but Mina. Oh no. Oh, they're, but Winthrop is backing off a mid. It looks like they might be taking this back. Oh hey. yeah, we do have that Viper <clears throat> still. On. And eight showers just right waiting. I, mean, I wonder if, uh, um, if skate here can get him. Wall on a to see skate, but if he can turn. Oh, oh, and oh. skate does get twice, even though he turns away, he still manages to find the kill. So, you see, Ali coming into this, uh, Phoenix, rifle, so. try to drone things out, it does unfortunately fall. Oh, okay, oh, does get picked, and that will be but it for Menace the Viper. Still alive and you haul holding it down, and Ali might. Oh, yeah, it's a 1v, it's a 1v4, can't do much there. I mean, College of Charleston went the round. That was that was kind of what we were hoping. <clears throat> if, I mean, if you're College of Charleston, that's like what you, you need to win hoping. that round. Yeah. Win that round, yeah. Um, I wonder what uh, what Winthrop's gonna get through this round. I mean, you know, kind of got denied on both sides. So. Yeah, no, I, I I agree completely. I mean, you you push up mid and then. You back off, you, you hear a little too many people over, you, you, you decide to rotate, you have that lurk over in A, and then you go over to A and you're you're pushing a Viper ult. So it's kind of not ideal either way. Yeah. I mean, we do have um, we do a bring ult this round from uh, Elder Charleston, so we'll mm -hmm. see if they can do anything. This seems that. to be a split push, but we do have bomb on B. Looks Winter like... is on a save here. Oh, wow, we actually have a flare pushed up really far into A main. And he does get oh. one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Flamin's fine. Mina, but Skate does manage to trade him out here. Yeah, and Viper's still fighting on it. Yes. Oh, unfortunately, all of one type does for today. Even though they're faking egg in a, in a way. Yeah, and Ooh. by now, I'll have Paul Charles and see you already. And Kiyoshi getting some, some good kills. Yeah, it looks like we're going to see Wes try to take bomb over B. Maybe take this 1v1 with Brim. But yeah, crush like would never. <laughs> oh, <sorry>? yeah, lock. <laughs> what? When, okay, when there's a when there's a mechanical off play, oh, nothing you can do there. You oh, and that's team. Astro ult. Oh, this is an interesting play coming. Uh, they were out, uh, actually already out on site. Yeah, that, had... that was a yeah. it was terrible Astro ult, but I I understand what he was going for. Going for the play, respectable, yeah. respectable. You gotta go for the clip, you know. Yeah. Three v four, College of Johnson. No, winning that last round. Yeah, I mean, uh, it should just be a uh, you know, full buy on both sides, mm. and uh, we'll see how it goes. Skate doing work <clears throat> on A, honestly. Dude, actually, he's such a de de demon on A. And it looks like the normal, you know, Puka hold with Meta and Kyoshi. Yeah, it looks like a typical hold from on defense. We'll see. It looks like we're leaning towards A this round, so we'll see if we actually do go in. The wiper wall does go up, and uh, looks like it gets a bit of flash through this. Maybe get some info. Yeah, so you're gonna see Wes just pushing up with his teammates here. Oh my <laughs> Flare is in a... In a spot! A... What oh, the wall? Oh, okay, Slayer just managed to find one along alongside his teammate Swish, and with oh, that... Just like that, we have a... 3v4 here. Yeah, yeah a 3v4 retake, I mean... And uh, we don't have a flank, so let's see how it goes. We have... We have... Rim, Siege, and, and Ray, so let's see what you can use from that. It looks like we're just gonna see... Wait, it's just pushing through CT here. We're gonna see that Bruno coming out. Oh, Bruno, oh, fortunately, Mena and Toys are... Not Mena, uh, Mena and Kyoshi are out. 
Digging up. Yeah, I'm gonna find some pick with this drone, and uh, unfortunately, everyone does fall after that. Yeah, um. I wonder if, uh, Coach Josh is gonna force you. Is it gonna force? Uh. I don't know, it looks, it looks to be so, as you see Mana here with that force by Alan. I don't know, never mind. Okay, yeah, Viper next. Okay, yeah, we're gonna see Viper next, you're right. But. That was, that was around. You, you know, it, it really looked like Winthrop anticipated that hook goal. Uh, yeah. But what's it called? Um, I'm just impressed they were able to. I'm, I'm surprised Flair was able to get so far up into A before um, right. the first kick flash. But um, we're gonna see that, that fake so with our B and team yeah, immediately skate. rotating over to A. Escape yeah, fighting now in showers. Okay, so we're gonna see twice in showers. Let's see if coming to aid him a little bit. We have, currently have three. Oh, and Flair did that. It's pretty good smell and getting skate. We're gonna see, uh, I believe, two, two people in the lamps right now. Yeah, it uh, looks like we've uh, successfully taken A and. Ooh, Ooh West. West coming in here with those picks in uh, lamps. Yeah, someone's just watching oh, him and. Yeah, looking to get that pick up in heaven, but unfortunately, can't find anyone being taken out by twice. Yeah, rather Three unfortunate picks. round, I mean, uh, Ski getting picked completely through a wall. <laughs> I don't think you <laughs> that was a little funny, yeah. That's actually just such a Valorant moment. Nothing really. Yeah. So it looks like we're gonna be seeing an engine. Uh, like a. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. College of Charleston is forcing up here a little bit. <clears throat> we're gonna see that off by coming out from Mena. Interesting. Hey, uh, Mena the Jetman. Hopefully, he's a good shot, man. I don't know if he's a Jetman, but. He definitely. See, he's up and got A main. Doesn't look like anyone's there this time. Yeah. Bomb leaning towards B. We, gotta see, we see two people lurking yeah. around A. If he just holds this, maybe maybe if things go his way, though. Viper's gonna lurk three up. Three walking crosshair. up showers, though. He might be what able to get a uh, raise here. Yeah. In a couple seconds. Just holding that angle down. And no, oh, oh, unfortunately, no. Flare. Just, just faster reaction time. As, as West has managed to find and it, Krushik does- Krushik is actually fighting down on B and- Ooh, I'm just barely- Nah, uh, missed the other shot on, on Swish. And they are rotating back to B. We see- we, we see Allie and Dwight still pushing up A though, and- They managed to find yeah. that pick. Spike go to, goes down on B here. I mean, if Krushik can get a pick here and, and Russ, I, you know, I'd say it's- it's semi-winnable. I don't know, man. It's this is a this is a tough situation. You might honestly see him just going for a save for the weapon here, since uh, Culture Charleston's econ is kind of not feeling too great after that. Yeah. Will he anticipate the Viper, who's just chilling, chilling real close to him right now? Oh, oh, oh. no! Close. <laughs> Unfortunate time. Unfortunate. As uh, Twice has managed to find the pick on Kiyoshi. Three to seven. Winthrop. Winthrop looking. Looking pretty strong, I gotta say. Yeah, really good on Econ, really good on everything, really. I mean, uh, Kalk has been a really, really tough fight here. So, I mean, let's see what they okay. can do. I mean, we're gonna see the save coming out for this round since they forced last. But, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really curious to see if, if Kalk Charleston can get these last Looks couple like rounds. Kind of triple sacking in this round. And so we are kind of defaulting on, uh, on, uh, Winthrop, but Spike is being able to be as yeah. usual. Yeah, but uh, I'm curious to see if College of Charleston can close up this score gap a little bit before the uh, switch on teams. Just, uh, Winthrop is playing pretty defaulty here. And yeah, Krushik is actually pushing up into no. the smoke here. He is might he, be able to get it. Is he out? No, and he- oh, He's switched to Krushak. Oh, no, never mind. What? He can't switch back to Krushak. <laughs> Krushak does fun. spot a West. And uh, Kiyoshi alone on B right now. With a stinger. This is a- this is a tough position to be Kiyoshi. But... Yeah. Do you have to see it coming up a backup? Actually, oh. actually, yeah. you're gonna see them hit a TP. It's a yeah, it's full it's full full Veer and Mena. And Mena about to see Flair in a couple seconds. Oh, and unfortunately, that wall just gives gives Flair so much space to work with. Yeah, like consistently just being able to take advantage of all that space. And Veer unfortunately right. getting timing by uh, his own wiper wall. Actually, I think that was the uh, end of the CT here. Actually. Yeah, I, I wonder if uh, that Stinger is doing some work. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use rest here. Yeah. If it was last round, maybe, but I I'm hoping to see some, that other gun. some big rest moments here in this last round. Yeah, it looked like he was just looking to pick up that gun, but unfortunately, when that smoke faded, 
it was not a gun he was staring at. It was it was a person. So. I, I mean, with uh with Sky Race and uh Sage Rolt and uh you know, maybe you hopefully we seeing some some big plays here. All right, right. I agree. I mean, both teams well, really have. Do, yeah, that's what <laughs> I, I say. Was to say. <laughs> uh, Winter has a lot of faults. So I mean, you know, seeing a uh a Viper Astrowall Phoenix ult race ult onto site, you know, all of us at the same time, that'd be yeah. that'd be kind <clears> of <throat> Winthrop really does have a lot whoa, to work with here. Triple pushing down no. short and whoa. Oh no, but Veer does manage to find two, trading out both of his teammates. Equal. Wow, what a we are ranked towards A, but we actually have two on it. On A right now. Except oh no. See that, that Viper will coming out B just denying the push, but it doesn't really matter since Winthrop is out on A. You can see Bumbo oh, down. does get flame. And we're gonna see twice popping that Viper out along with it. I'm curious to see if Prush what Prushak's gonna do here, low HP. I see Kiyoshi being pulling out the res onto Mina oh. right now. It's gonna both hit TP, making oh, their way it's over. So, so close. So far, Krushak. Both of them, right in front of them. Oh no. Oh, and Swish does this, this 180 him, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Oh, and, and, and twice, right in front of the enemy. Oh, but Mina popping and, his ult here. Oh, and back. unfortunately, twice Whoa. playing that position. No one predicts that. That was, that was, yeah. I mean, that was just a great Nothing play coming in from twice. There. Okay, we're gonna see, we're gonna see the... Th uh, sh shall I speak of a 3-9 curse, or are we... What are we thinking coming into that? Okay. What's it called? Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this around will be fun to watch. Okay. To see how uh. I'll call to charge some places. Yeah, say same, same. Honestly, uh, maybe they could really turn things around here. Yeah, I mean, this is when you start getting worried about the round de deficit, you know. Ah, uh, nine three curse. They're they're bound to win. You see, I just made that joke, but uh, <laughs> okay. I was like, I, I was, I thought my internet went out. It was, it was the awkward silence is really killing me. But we're gonna see Ali getting a pick on Mina early around here, Push, pushing, pushing. But it looks like when, uh, excuse me, College of Charleston are uh, leaning, leaning a little bit back towards Ali. Could get oh, a three here. Ali's position. Nope. Oh. Oh. oh, but he managed to find one. Just a skill diff. It's Kiyoshi. Right click. We're gonna see West pushing up Longa. Oh, but Flare. Wow, this is just. Ah, uh, this is this is rough for for Kasha right now. Yeah, I mean, as in Kiyoshi lasts alive. Oh, oh. Kiyoshi gets two there. Not not right there, but that round. That round, yeah. I mean, you know, it was just the way Winthrop I'll played that. Right, it was just they played that very well, and Kasha Charleston just didn't seem to be ready for the aggressiveness that. They showed. Uh, so we are we are we calling for the three ten curse now? Or are we are we switching it up? Uh, I I still think they bound to win. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we're gonna be seeing a pretty a sided push coming in from College of Austin. I mean, this room is gonna go to get to go to Austin really easily. Yeah. Is so we're gonna see Flair putting down a man. Yeah, the the triple, uh, actually quadruple push the showers. So it's, uh, it's pretty meta right now. And Ali, Ali, what is what what is this demon doing right now? You tell me what this guy's doing. He's on the flank, but he has bomb on him. Oh wow! And Flair just managed to find one. Flair <laughs> and down. Ali are the beast from a there. different world. Kiyoshi, they are real. Mina last alive showers. Managed to check out twice, but Swish just find him. Oh no, bro! If you're good, <laughs> Flair, he's <laughs> killing. Oh my god. No, but that's just Ali coming out of just on that plane. Ali and Flair are yeah, something else right now. I, I don't know what they're doing. There's some Dude, they're just Ali, up everywhere. Ali is just getting the most impactful kills, you know. Yeah, just just going up with those flanks twice. Twice now, I, I, you know, probably not this round. If he was at this round, then then he they deserve the win. But you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it looks like College of Charleston will be leaning back towards A once again. Is is we see Flair actually pushing up into a cubby position, but he is spotted. He's gonna back back off. Yeah, we, we can't we can't be a menace that many rounds in a row. Yeah, it's just actually not. Oh, Nate, it's making four. 
Oh, and unfortunately, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't get any Oh, no, but Ali is on flank once again. Dude, what? Ah. <laughs> no, no, Ali, don't do it to them. Yeah, Ali, don't do it to them, no. Ali. Ali finding two, and he's flat. What is wrong with this command? No, <laughs> Ali I'm sorry. Ali finds another. Minutes go down. 9-3 curse doesn't work when you have Ali on the enemy team. It, it, it's, it's just... What is this man? Ali with the 4k, 3-12 in favor of Winthrop. Oh it's no! Like three rounds in a row three with the Spectre. In a row. That, that Prime Spectre has seen some stuff. Truly. Alright. You, uh, you think we're gonna see a flank watch coming in this round? Like, what are we... Uh, no. Does Ali dare to do it again? Yes, I think he will. I think he'll ult them and flash them and wall them and everything. Well, it looks like they're actually going to be put. Ali, Ali looks like he may be pushing up along this time. We're going to see more of a default coming in from College of Charles, and you can see one lurking showers. But actually, it's going to be it just be mainly with the lurk on showers. Yeah. Oh my God, we're going to see Ali Here comes ulting along. Gonna flash out of the smoke and maybe kill three, maybe kill four. Oh, but Flare does manage to Flare. Oh no. Did you see? Oh, I know. Ali's ult does fall. Oh. But Flare my. and West managing to find two. Oh Over no. Here? Oh, but Ali. one in favor of Winthrop. Oh no, skate in what a position! Oh, but he manages to find one. And it's all down to skate. Oh, oh and Ali with the guardian. I mean, that was a that was. I mean, that was a great. good Winthrop. round. That was, oh, that was, was a good game. Fun game. Oh, was. You know, the score isn't that close, but I gotta say, I was. It, it was still very exciting. Yeah, I mean. Flare and Ali are, are are something else. Actually, that was that was that was great play coming in for the both of them. Um, yeah, yeah, really fun, really fun. I mean, you know, Winthrop was not lying when they said they they had a, a good Valorant team. I mean, <laughs> they actually came in here on Demon time. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, Winthrop looked great. And College of Charleston. You yeah, know, both teams game. looked great, but I mean, when when you have Ali and Flare, uh, it's not much you can do. Yeah. All right. Well. Thank you everyone who came out to watch. I think we're going to be going on a 10 minute break before League of Legends. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back soon. Uh, see ya. See ya. <laughs> yeah.
Hello. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening tonight. And we have a juicy matchup tonight. We have College of Charleston Esports Club versus Winthrop University in a best of one League of Legends matchup. This is the Winthrop University JV squad. So if you are wondering who are these people, that's why. We have a really interesting draft from either side. I feel like Winthrop a little more standard. Um, even though I guess Victor top lane really isn't that standard, but I assume he's just flexing to kind of give himself a better matchup in Urgot, um, versus, uh, an interesting draft from College Charles. And we have a good mix of tank and dive and AP and AD, but Lux mid, she has a chance to bully set. I reckon it's going to be fun times, ladies and gentlemen. And that bot lane, Heimer Dinger. And Pantheon, I was promised by Cammy that we would get a spicy matchup in a bot lane. Cammy, you did not disappoint my friend. Misfortune and Pike, that's going to be a fun one as well. I don't even know how this is going to play out, but let's get it started. So we're almost into a minute 30. I did a little bit of a beginner's cast last week, kind of talking about how, I guess, the game works, what you can expect, what you cannot expect. So I'm going to keep it a little more basic. Tonight, as we're going to start with the jungle camps. Wow, Lux getting caught out early by Set. A lot of damage on a Lux. You're a ranged champion. No need to stand too close there. So, nice early lead there for Hey, hey Baragi. Hope I'm saying that right. And Dark Snow 16 playing my main, Urgot, in the top lane against Victor. Really excited to see how that goes tonight. And it looks like Volibear will be doing his Raptors. Hopefully, we should see better jungling tonight. Last Tuesday, we had a really rough time with the jungle from the side of Lise McRae. They just did not. They were playing Nocturne, couldn't get their team ahead early, and just refused to help their team. He just power farmed until 6, and then I'm going to use ult. We have a quick early first blood for Misfortune. Pike with the easy stun. A root here from Lux. Going to get some good damage, but... A quick TP coming out of the side of Rice Milk as the CFC bot lane is forced to reset. That's a 1 0 for Winthrop. Yeah, looks like we're going to put a lot of resources in MF here. Um, Pike is a great pick for Misfortune. He can really bring somebody towards you. Oh, we have an invade here from Olaf on the Volley Bear. He's level 3, Volley Bear's level 2. Volley Bear's going to die right here. Doesn't even waste the flash, knows he was dead. Winthrop's up 2 nothing. Charleston just looks like they're a little too lackadaisical, for lack of a better term. Unable to get anything started going early. Winthrop really taking command of the board. You know, oh, a nice stun here from Pantheon, but he's going to die as well, is he? Yes, he will. Grim, get a second kill. <sighs> College Charleston, if you're a College Charleston alumni, if you're a fan, you're not feeling too good right now. Um, this is three and a half minutes in the game, friends. You have a very safe comp. You have a lot of ranged champions. You don't need to be playing so aggressively, but I guess they feel like they need to. And unfortunately for them, they are just not getting it done. So... Wow, flash here from Lux. Set didn't have to waste any utility, really, there. Not even using an Ignite. Stun onto Urgot. That's a... Should be a kill here from a bud, if he has enough... He does! Wow! Oh! Sweet buttery Jesus. Over oh, under five stun. Yeah, this is um, this is something, ladies and gentlemen. So a really action-packed game. I'm a, I'm a little shocked. I was promised some good bot lane play, some excite an exciting jungle from here from the College Charleston side, but unfortunately so far, it is not looking great. College Charleston just lost, I believe it was 13 to three in Valorant. Um, not looking like their fortunes are going to be great here in Rock and uh, League of Legends. Hopefully Rock League can go better for this team. As Rice Milk's going to be chased down, it's 6 nothing. It's not even 5 minutes. No Dragons, no Rift Heralds. <sighs> this, is, uh, this is just sad to watch. Now, I will say, you have some... Charles can try and scale with on the Heimerdinger. If they feed Heimerdinger, get some kills. But we're going to need a little better play out of here from Cami. They've been very good hitting their stuns and, you know, being aggressive. But you kind of can't be aggressive too much when you have a Pike who can just kind of interrupt all of your CC. 
and they can really mess wreak havoc with your game plan. So we're gonna get a tower plate here for Urgot. Olaf setting up for a dive. They don't even know. They don't even know. Don't know where Pike is. They're gonna see. They're gonna see Olaf. They already know it's too, a good stun here from Heimer. Gonna get out of the CC from Pike. Wow, that was certain death to the side of College of Charleston, but they just got out of that with the hair on their shoulders standing straight up. <sighs> Some good poke here from Heimer. You're playing too far up, my friend. That's going to be another kill here for the side of Winthrop University at 7 0. College of Charleston, they are not learning their lesson each time. And every time they've stepped out, they've gotten killed. 8 0. All right, let's do a board bet, ladies and gentlemen, in the chat. Over and under on kills for Winthrop at the 20-minute mark. I'm going to go over under at 17. Let's keep things interesting here. Um, if you've noticed the minimap, Winthrop is dominating the vision. They have the bot jungle warded really well at the College of Charleston side, so they can know where Volley Bear is pretty much at all times, or at least when he's on his bot side. Um, they have, they've they done a really good job in farm. Um, Olaf is 42 CS, Volibear is 20. Nobody really has any kind of CS close to either side. Urgot 32, Victor 37. Um, but... Tough sledding. Not even a kill for College of Charleston. No cheese attempts. I was a little, little embarrassed. This is a free kill here for the side of Winthrop. Pike, great roam. Great hook. And an ult here from Victor. 9-0. Really? Okay. You're fine. Yeah, sure. Okay. What's your what's your timestamp? I can pause. Let me know you're at seven twenty. And that's uh, another kill for Winthrop. Yup. It is now 10 nothing. Make it 11. Double kill for set. They're going for 12. Will they hit it? Olaf secures the kill. Yeah, as uh, Apathy36 well, well notes. We have a bit of a draft diff here. Unfortunately, Charleston did not... They just didn't have a... They don't have enough anti-dive repeal for their team, and they're just not playing smart. They're overextending. They're trying to go for pick plays. They're not really courting very well, so unfortunately, it's just not... Things aren't working out for them. Um, communication just isn't there, unfortunately, so... But this is a young roster. Uh, they have a lot of chance to grow in the future, and this is an extremely good Winthrop University JV team. Don't let the term JV fool you. They are, they are very much still a top team in this conference. Um, that's just 14 kills. My over-under is not looking great. If you took the over, uh, you'd be a very happy person probably. Eight and a half minutes to right in so far. Um, we'll see how things go. Oh, but uh, looks like College Charleston will be getting the Rift Herald. It might be nine and a half thousand dollars, nine thousand gold down. Don't let that stop them. Uh, we're having Ball Bear with a gank on the mid lane, but he's level five. It's eight, nine minutes in the game. You're just going to level, my friend. You cannot be going for plays like that without your ult. Great combo here from Cami, but she's level four. She can finish it off. Her, her Heimerdinger's not there, but she's doing a ton of damage on a Misfortune. 
Uh, her stun is coming up soon. Can she get a stun and a kill? She gets a stun. She gets the Q. She might get a kill here. Shut down for Pantheon. The first kill on the board for College of Charleston. Let's go, friends. As Cammy looking to get a double piece. Great block there. Nice stun. Cammy is really impressed tonight. Not a lot of bright spots here for the side of College of Charleston, but Cammy definitely has been one. Hopefully they can use that to build in the future. Pink Diamond looking to get caught out again, unfortunately. Just not been a fun time here for Lux. Um, not using their range to their advantage. Uh, not going to get that cheeky kill on set. Volibear can. He does not have level 6 yet. We need Volibear to farm if he wants to get his team back into the game. Yes, it is an 8,000 now. It'll be quick mass. 11,000 gold lead, it looks like, if I'm doing my math correctly. Um, no, I'm, I'm dumb. It isn't. 12 and 8 is, yeah, that's 20 and 23, yeah, that's 11,000. Yes, it is actually the JV team, but the, the main team is one challengers, or not challenger, it won Seelaw last semester, wrong you lust. So Winthrop is literally uh, League of Legends University of the Southeast, one of the best teams in the country, and definitely the best team in the Southeast. So, um, yeah, their varsity team is very good, and they've had some players go to the next level. So great job. Shout out to Josh Sides, the coach, better known as Win You Bo of Winthrop University. He's done a great job with their program. Uh, a, misfor a misfortunate flash here for Heimerdinger as he was looking to try to engage onto the misfortune. Can't quite get there. Can't get the control ward either. Misfortune is going to burn her ult. Um, Pike looking here to stop a play. Rice Smoke knew he was coming. Misses the ult kill, but he gets the ignite. Ergot, he is in trouble. And he dies. Nothing is going well for Charles in the map. The fact that I don't think we've seen a tower fall yet. A little surprising. Volibear uses ult to escape away. Can't even try and clear a ward here. Yes, their varsity team is essentially damn one. Uh, if you want to call it that. That's a great comparison. Um, but they're also one of the great varsity teams in the country. If you're interested in looking up C-Law, Maryville University. Always been a popular team. Bethany University, Illinois Wesleyan. A lot of great teams. Uh, another team in this conference is Converse College. They're ranked in the top 10 nationally. Very good school. So you have a lot of great teams in league in college. It's actually really fun. I know tonight <laughs> we've already passed the over. <laughs> so uh, not unfortunate. it's a little unfortunate, but I don't think this is ending in 15. Uh, there's not enough towers taken for that. But we can definitely see some... I would definitely say 20 minutes is a great place to say where this game ends. Lux to throw out her shield, try to stay alive, get a tower kill, does not. This set has been really excellent. Cam looking to get a little revenge for her fallen teammate. Gets the sun, gonna get some... But set wisely, doesn't attack on her tower. Urgot misses his ult! How unfortunate, my good friend! What a what an escape from set! That was certain... Death in the meat grinder. But the meat packing plant was closed today. Ergot doesn't get the doesn't get the condemn. Instead use it to save his own self. A little selfish there, buddy. Um Victor survives. Charleston gets nothing out of that. 24-2. That was a very sick flash, I agree. I'm happy that doesn't happen to me. When I'm in solo queue, when I hear I'm Ergot, not to toot my own horn, of course, but I don't miss. I don't miss my meat grinders. So, hopefully Dark Snow can hit some in the future. Um, he has a great chance to hit a Condemn here. Goes a little too early for it. Yeah, I was really expecting the time to have a little more impact. He's 0-7. Not a lot of farm. Uh, no one in Charleston had 100 farm. Whereas... All four of the uh, expected carries in the team for Winthrop have over 100 farms, so... Winthrop's just overall better. It's just a team diff situation. You really can't complain if you're Charleston. You know, you know this going into this. This is a, a tough battle. You know, it's like Alabama playing Alabama State in college, college football. You know, you're here for the good vibes. And a learning experience, you know? See how a better team plays, how they coordinate, how they draft. And where they choose to back. 
Um, these are some great highlight reel plays though for one throw when they make their mixtape eventually. So there's that. One throw's gonna look to crack open the base eventually. Uh, we have a lot of great players that are good at sieging, misfortune. Um, Set just punches walls, isn't that crazy? But it looks like Set's gonna do a little counter jungling here. Which, I mean, at this point, Set is level 11. Bob Bear 7, the highest is Cami with 8 and Dark Snow at 8. So, traditional game, your support is not your highest rated player, but not a traditional game for Charleston, is it? So, if Charleston wants to make any kind of plays happen, they'll need a dragon or some other objectives. But Bobby Bear uses ult, try and escape, but the CC is just too much from the side of Winthrop and Bobby Bear trapped in a cage. Can't display his emotions and true feelings for how he wants to be in life. Pink done with a great flash, but out of the frying pan in the fire. Olaf is literally going berserk right now. Cammy dies. That's all she wrote. It was all she wrote at minute five, unfortunately, but you know, piling it on a little bit here. Oh, that's just unfortunate. You hate to see it. Ergot. Trying to be a little cheeky. Has a great job in, uh... Trying to avoid sudden death, but that ult might be the end of him. We'll see. As this base is get cracked open. A can of corn. And Charleston can do nothing but watch. As Winthrop. Looks to go remain undefeated on the season. Not gonna go for a death knell, they don't have quite the way for it. They're gonna push through bot side. This is just uh just unfortunate all around for Charleston. Um Just some quick notes I guess on the loss for Charleston. You gotta look at your coordination, you gotta look at your positioning. Those are their two biggest flaws tonight. Um they're just playing too aggressively. And Winthrop just did not make a single mistake. So, commiserations to Winthrop University. Congrats on the win. As a little... Look to make this a formality. Maybe Charles can get a cheeky little kill. Maybe Lux, ult, Urgot? Oh, Urgi. Urgot cannot get a kill there. Charleston, are they gonna find one at least? Cheeky stopwatch on the side of my bud. And Olaf is getting the dragon to put insult to injury. And that is game. 42 kills for Winthrop. The Winthrop mixtape was legendary. Looking like J. Cole out there. Once again, congrats to Winthrop University. Up next is some Rocket League. And yeah, there's not really much to say about that post-match breakdown. It's just, just two different teams. Two different teams. So stay tuned for some Rocket League coming up in a few minutes.
We'll be right back.
All right, guys, welcome back. We've got an exciting Rocket League match coming up. I am joined by Jamaican116. Now you've heard his voice in League of Legends casting. Now you get to see the beautiful face behind the golden voice. Uh, so Jamaican, thanks so much for being here, man. Uh, what's the matchup looking like tonight? Yeah, it's a great, exciting one. So we have College Charleston, who have had a pretty you know tough semester in terms of end results, but the team looks really solid versus Winthrop coming off a loss to Clemson, which is a bit of an upset because Winthrop were considered a top three, top four team in the conference. So this should be actually kind of even. Um, we are seeing a sub for the side of College of Charleston with Krushak subbing in. He's also on the Valorant team. But I can tell you that he has actually really cracked at this game. So hopefully the team can gel really well, and we should see a really fun and setting first game as both teams kind of fill each other out. Yeah, I'm really excited to see. I know we've we've talked about a few of these players beforehand, but just some mechanical plays. We've seen some good teams up until tonight, but I think this may be kind of our next step into a full team of really, really mechanical and really skilled players. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I think the players are a little confused on whether to start or not. Um, I can't really type in game chat, I don't think so. Otherwise, I would tell them, hey, uh, you're good to go. Yeah, um, we, ha we have it turned off for uh, censorship reasons yeah. on the stream. Let's see. But I am I am really excited to see what we do here on either side. Um, I definitely would say the advantage goes to Winthrop, but I'm hoping for a three-game set. That would be really exciting. I'm really hoping for three games too. It's always it's always fun to see a series go the distance. Um, unfortunately, we're not playing a best of five in in the league, at least in the regular season. Hopefully, in the uh, in the playoffs and championship, hopefully we'll see even a best of seven. But best of threes are tough. There's not a lot of time to shift momentum. Um, right. We were talking before the stream started that you know sometimes after the first game, there's just not enough time to make those adjustments going into game two to really make enough of a difference and turn the short series around. All right. Yes, sir. And then here we go. We're seeing teams join some teams. So we're going to spectate and uh, good luck. Have fun, friends. So should take it off. But so we have Kamikaze, Wild Cherry, Kirilina on Winthrop, and we have Krushak, Jubs, and Iridium or College of Charleston, and we're off to a bit of a shaky start right off the bat. Wild Cherry clanging one off the sidewall, and it gets past two defenders trying to come off the back wall. Yeah, it was just a missed assignment there from Iridium. Uh, he went to go for the aerial, missed the 50-50, and the cruise jack was on his back feet. Uh, Charleston got boost off there a little bit and uh, just weren't able to properly respond. A great pass coming in from Wild Cherry here. Not able to connect it into a, a shot on net. Kirilina challenging here. Winthrop very quick in the aerial game so far. Really trying to connect some passes. Krushak waiting for a pass here. Trying to center it. Can't connect. Wild Cherry going the other way. Showing off a, a couple stalls. Kamikaze banging this one up. Trying to follow it. Gets a pass middle and a shot is far left. Wild Cherry with a shot off the post again. Another shot off the post. Winthrop just peppering, peppering the pillars of the net. Yeah, you can definitely tell that Charleston has isn't doesn't seem very prepared for a lot of these quick reads. Um, they look a little they're on their back foot every time, but they are making the nice stops here. Radium with a great save there, but. They just haven't gotten a good clear. This ball has been there half the entire game. Um, as you see, a missed clearance there from Jubs. And, but they are holding on. You know, Winthrop has missed a couple of touches here and there. They've had some good passing plays, but they're not just putting stuff on target. As yeah. a big attempt here for Jubs, and, you know, yeah. They are holding on very well, actually. After that first kind of misstep on defense... Oh, and I should just stop talking. <laughs> Another... <laughs> Another miss in defense. I was about to say they've been making great rotations. Yep. And not a bad rotation, just a miss in net. Kamikaze slots one in again. 
Yeah, that's been a difference in this game so far. It's just a lot of missed touches here from Charleston, um, unfortunately for them. But there's definitely a lot of time to bounce back, even in this game. Three minutes left to go. Iridium with a great challenge there off the wall. This may be a dangerous clear here. Iridium trying to go upfield. No, he's waiting on the back wall. Now Krushak with a banger downfield. Kamikaze going to settle this into the corner. Tries to move it upfield. Zero boost, so this is going to be tough. He does grab the 100, though, and he had open field in front of him. That was a great heads-up play there by Jubs. He knows that he doesn't have... See, Jubs right there has been the enforcer of this Rocket League for this Charles Charl Charleston team. He has doesn't have a lot of boost. He's getting boost out pretty well here, so instead of trying to make a play on the ball without any kind of force behind it, he's just going for hits, and that's why you've seen some open plays kind of by Wild Cherry get shut down. So it really heads-up plays there by Jubs, whereas overall, though, he hasn't really been getting it done in terms of putting the ball on target. And a miss here from Carolina. Still somehow Winthrop keeping possession. Kamikaze now on his way back in defense. Carolina clearing to the side. Jubs cutting it off. Maybe looking for another touch here and a center ball. Doesn't quite get it. Krushak up. They're just playing with it in the corner at, at the time. Not able to get anything centered just yet. Wild Cherry flying in for an errant shot here. What a save. Big save Krushak. there from Iridium as Krushak had a unfortunate attempt going up for it, but good Jones rotations here nice from save too. Yeah, College of Charleston really seems, for the most part, comfortable in their defensive rotations. Just a couple missteps. I think not not looking forward to game two so so quickly, but I think in game two we'll see a much stronger and a more comfortable defense from College of Charleston. I'd agree with that, yeah. Um, for, like right there, you see, like you know, another missed touch there. But overall, they like you said, they've been in the right spot at the right time. It's just a matter of getting the touches there. But Iridium here looking for a center. Kirilina cuts it off nicely off the back wall. Two players up for this, though. This could be a shot opportunity, and it is, but it's off the post. Now College yeah, of Charleston rotating back yeah, in defense. My bad. Um just want to say, unfortunately there, you saw a lot of great opportunities there for College of Charleston, right? But they just did not have, they were a little too hesitant. So they were playing a little scared there. So you saw Tate, Iridium was far back on defense, anchoring the defense, right? Because he was ex expecting a big clear. When he could have played up at least midfield or even farther from the field. And they probably could have got a goal there and made this 2-1. But they're not really playing too aggressive right now, which is a little unfortunate. You're down to nothing, a minute and a half to go. What do you have to lose, right? Yeah, they need to make a move, and there were opportunities on their last possession down the field. A couple double commits actually coming in. Wild Cherry, is he coming off the ceiling for this? A pass from Kamikaze. They can't connect. Winthrop trying to get a little nutty here at the end. And Winthrop does take game one. So, Jamaican, what do you think... College of Charleston can adjust. I know we've talked about a couple things. What do you think they can adjust going into game two here to really make a difference and pull out a win? They just have to be more aggressive, honestly. They're not trusting themselves to hit their shots, or when they do, they miss them, of course. But if you don't trust yourself, you're never going to go anywhere with that, right? So honestly, their pass passes are really good, really well. Their infield passes are fine. It's just a matter of playing more aggressive on offense. Um, you saw a couple times there where they had some open nets. They just had no one there to hit the ball in. So their defense has been pretty solid. They had a, a very unfortunate first goal, which kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. But if they can kind of get something going on offense, they can change the momentum and force the game three. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Even just a moment's hesitation, a split second where you're not, you know, quick jumping up to the ball, you're not double jumping and boosting immediately, that kind of stuff can really start to set you back and lead to some one-sided confrontations. We are into game two. Let's see if College of Charleston can turn things around or if Winthrop will continue to dominate uh, on offense and defense. Wild Cherry going for a pinch off the corner wall. 
Jubs up on defense quickly. Can Iridium get this past Wild Cherry? He does. Past one, past two. This is off the back wall. It's an opportunity. Takes a strange bounce. Great defense by Kamikaze coming off the back wall. Now Jubs up looking for maybe a shot here. Can't quite get the pinch. Yeah, so what we saw there was a lot more aggression inside of College Draws, which is great to see. Um, their defense is still looking pretty solid, but... Oh! I gotta stop cursing. <laughs> what a beautiful double tap. Gets it past the first defender and nobody home to stop the second. Of course, as I say, their defense is looking pretty solid. They've got <laughs> banger in, right? We should just stop talking about College of Charleston's defense and see... <laughs> See if Winthrop can score on their own. There you go. Kirilina here with a pass off the corner. Wild Cherry looking to follow this up and get a pass off the back wall, maybe. Iridium, great stuff in defense. Gets it out to the midfield. Jubs carrying it forward. Stopped by Kamikaze. Wild Cherry going to play this middle. A shot by Kirilina is off the back wall. Winthrop really feeling it right now with the infield passes. Some great pass plays from both teams. Um, honestly, it's really just coming down to physicality right now. Uh, and as you say that, Kamikaze with the bump play on the goalie, going ahead of the ball, just a little pop there, and then he snipes Iridium. And just an unfortunate own goal. Nothing really that Krushak could have done differently there. He's just rotating back to net. Yeah, he, he bumped the other player into the ball originally, and then... It's just a, a forged sequence of events. There's not much, like you say, you can't do much about that. Just gotta shake it off and go to the next play. Winthrop. I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> Winthrop really <laughs> piling it on here. Again, though, College of Charleston with what I would say are great rotations in defense. They're just maybe a split second too slow. But they are just getting peppered with shots endlessly by Winthrop. Winthrop really looking strong on offense in this match. And that's going to be for Kirilina. Three for three. A perfect Hattie. Yeah, you still have to see this Winthrop team looks a lot more comfortable with each other. They're playing a lot more aggressive and they're actually hitting really nice shots. Great infield passes. And that's just the result. Charleston defense has been really broken down. And it's looking like a Winthrop University win. And it's tough, too, because College of Charleston has spent so much time on defense. It's hard to say if, you know, I wouldn't say their defense is lacking at all. They've just been kind of stuck in their half. <laughs> this, is, yes. this is getting hard to watch, and we're not even halfway through the game. <sighs> Yeah, wild cherry, I wish it Charles a, a banger. Charleston's having a yeah, wild banger from Wild Cherry. Charleston's having a rough night on stream tonight. Uh Valorant, League of Legends, now Rocket League, one of their stronger traditional sports here for the for the College of Charleston, but they just haven't been able to get the ball out of their half, like you said, and when you can't do that, you give the team so much room to position and maneuver. And they're also taking they have their side of the boost, and they can also take your boost. So now you can't even go up in 50-50 challenge. So when you can't get the ball out of your half it really sets you back and it forces you to really scramble position. The yeah. only thing that it can really help you is that you can get a nice clear, you get everybody's head, and then you have an easy open shot, but they haven't been able to do that. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it, it leads to some boost starving. If if Winthrop is on good rotations, they're grabbing the boost on their way out after a pass or a center, and it, ju it just gets harder and harder to stay on defense the longer you're there. Here's a good opportunity though. An upfield clear. Jubs not able to to get it quite centered. Kirilina a miss on defense though. This could be an opportunity. Two pressing from College of Charleston both miss. Now Wild Cherry almost with an open net to pass it into. And Kirilina clangs it off the crossbar. Wild Cherry gonna try and doomsie dish this in and he does. That is a beautiful shot. Wild Cherry 
Doinking it, coming back for the dish. Served up on a platter. Good guy, Miss Molly. Wow, we've had some great <laughs> shots here from Winthrop University. Charles's defense, we talked about it. It does no longer exist. It has been killed, put to bed. Justin looking to make a nice play here, but fortunately his team cannot finish it. And, you know, we finally see a, a little tad, a little tadpole bit of offense here from College Charleston. But, you know, once you, if your defense and your offense, they kind of work in sync in Rocket League, right? If you can't play good defense, then your offense can't do anything. It's just like in hockey. If you can't get up and you're on your back half all the time, they're going to take shots, and your goalie is just going to – he might be a good goalie, but if he, the more saves he has to make, the harder it's going to be every time. So that's just what's been going on right now. Um, nothing about the players individually, of course. It's just a matter of – they've just been very unlucky with their rotations. So. Yeah, and, and I would be hard-pressed to believe that College of Charleston has more than – just one or two shots on net in the whole game and it well as i say that maybe we should talk more about college <laughs> yeah. of charleston's offense make it a little more interesting right <laughs> yeah oh we have a nice little player from iridium yeah they are and, and they iridium get scores iridium scores <laughs> we might see a brazil here it's 6-1 went up using these one for the brazil way to just put it on net though iridium really Jostling around for that ball, muscling the defender off, and then just popping it in. Five left in 30 seconds. Is it doable? <laughs> no, there's just not enough time, honestly, mathematically. It's just probably, even if they got a goal now, with seven seconds left, um, Winthrop could just kill the ball at some point, force a bad uh, kickoff goal, and we should be over. So, Winthrop will look to improve their record. This season, Carlos Charles and searching for their first one in Rocket League. Won't find it here tonight. We may get a shot on that here, though. Great pass down by Krushak. They're not giving up. Oh, wow. A what great a great save, save by, by Wild Cherry. Cherry. Well, we'll take a look at the final scoreboard. But I think the score says it all. Four shots for College of Charleston. Just getting stuck in their in their defensive half, and for good reason. Winthrop was really, really putting on the pressure. A lot of great infield passes, a lot of a lot of pressure. I don't know what else to to say about it. Yeah, Winthrop looked really good. They had a great team chemistry in game two. Uh, they definitely felt a lot more sure about themselves. Whereas Charleston, you saw Iridium really step up to the plate, but outside of that, he just couldn't get enough cohesion with his team they just didn't have the enough possession to really make any kind of set plays so really unfortunate for the side of college charleston but a great game from winthrop a great bounce back after an earlier loss this week this week so really excited to see where they kind of climb after this game and we do have one more opportunity for college of charleston to get a win tonight and it's i think we said earlier that rocket league might be the closest matchup but in talking before this match i really think we could see a tight match in Smash as well. We have two great players. I know Mage from Winthrop and Jamaican. Who's who's the high-ranked player on College of Charleston that you think could make the difference there? Make the difference for College of Charleston? Honestly, that is a great question. Um, off the dome, I would probably. I know they have a lot of new talent that's really, really solid. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't even know. I'd have to look. Um, but I definitely and that's think why that we're not casting there. Smash. <laughs> yeah, I will say that their manager, uh, Kat, Kat the Rat, is a longtime College of Charleston Smash player. They've done a great job building the Smash roster recently this week and the past couple weeks. And I know they've definitely competed at some of our big, the bigger events at College of Charleston. So I'm definitely excited to see what they can do. Um, as far as how far they'll get, only time can tell. Only time can tell. Well, we will be, be, we will be back in about 20 minutes for Smash, our final matchup of the night with our casters Red and Narwhal. Stay tuned. <laughs> 